as I'm sure many of you are aware, in the newest update in Sea of Thieves, they have added ghost ships and ghost fleets, which you'll be able to take out uh, in the world. Now, to activate these yourself, uh, you will need to either buy it from Duke or buy it from the Order of Souls. And activate the mission will spawn, will give you a map that tells you where the ships are. It'll be something along the lines of what, whatever fleet you have is was found last haunting the island you need to go around. And you can also look out and see them spawning, because normally it'll spawn close to you. Like, I'm on I'm on Golden Sand, spawn at Cannon Cove. This Cannon Cove is the island over. They usually spawn pretty close, which is really nice. And to take these out, all you need to do is sink three cannon shots into them, and they will disappear. But there is a large number of these ships. As you see here, it disappears in three cannon shots. But then it hits me with a screamer shot, and a screamer shot... Uh, is a massive face that'll come out of their out of their cannon uh, their, out of their cannons, and will do uh, three holes to four holes to the bottom or the top of your ship, depending on where it hits. And when trailing behind these ships, make sure to watch out for the old uh, they drop gunpowder kegs behind them, and when you run them over, they will be doing the normal damage as a normal gunpowder barrel, even though they are ghostly gunpowder barrels, and they drop a lot of them behind them. So just watch out. But these are they're fairly easy to see, and you can shoot them out of the water fairly easy. Just make sure you're watching whenever you're trailing one of these ships, and make sure to try to catch the, them in the water out, out far in front of you. And after you defeat a good number of these ships, uh, two uh, little, two little fleets will spawn. Fleets, two little, two little ship sets like this right here, and then there's one on the other side of Cannon Cove. One of these has a lesser flagship. And then the other one has the main flagship for uh, Grey, or for, not for Grey Marrow, for Flameheart, which we saw in the Heart of Fire Tall Tale. Now, you don't have to defeat all of the skelly ships. All you have to do is defeat the um, ghost ships, my friend. All you have to do is defeat the flagship, and the rest of them will despawn. But the flagship takes around 10 to 15 cannon shots instead of the normal 3, which is still not very many cannon shots, and it's fairly easy to get done. And after you sink them... Um, after you sink them, you will need to, uh, or, sorry, after you sink them, a bunch of loot will spawn under you, or under there where they sunk, with little ghostly apparitions flying around them, and you can go and pick up a bunch of skulls. Oh, and in this clip, you see me sniping one of the gunpowder barrels that you see, which is, they're, they're fairly easy to see, and a bunch of them spawn. So I would just recommend not even trailing behind them, just taking a little wider angle and getting some shots off. And my personal review of these skelly ships is they're pretty fun. And they're fairly easy for everyone anywhere to do. Because I was I was solo with like 30 cannonballs and I was able to do it. Because I mean, it was fairly easy. It wasn't all that difficult. And just saying, whenever whenever a skelly ship rams into you, I would rec uh, it gives you a lot of holes as well. Uh, like it did here, it, pushed it, it, it exploded because they explode whenever they die. And it gave me a bunch of holes. So I had to uh, I had to drop anchor and repair myself, but they will drop uh, around four to five skulls, four normal skulls, or five skulls for sure, four normal normal skulls, and one ghost captain skull, which you can sell to the Order of Souls for reputation and uh, points towards your commendations, which is to sell both these types of souls uh, skulls, and then you will be able to get um, you will be able to get two different flag sets from Duke. And both of these are both different skulls cost, you know, they cost differently. Are they they're worth less or they're worth different amounts. The ghost captain skull is worth like two to three K and the others are worth one to two K. They're fairly cheap. <laughs> Other than that, that's all I have to say for this video and I hope this video does help you out and if it did Go ahead and drop a sub down below, it's free, and you can always unsub later. Uh, I will hopefully see you all later tonight, or tomorrow morning. Peace.